Welcome back everyone, it's Michelle. I have a fun release, another fun collab with Coco Reno. And I, I know I say this every time I make a set, but this is my favorite collab that I've ever done. Um, because number one, I'm not, this is Ruffles and Doilies, which, you know, you can't go wrong there, but I am awful at making ruffles um, myself in the sewing machine. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a small banner like uh, collab during the holidays. But I was like, oh my gosh, we need to make it bigger um, so we can use it on bags and things. So I'm going to show you some really fun samples that I did with these. And I want you to see the stamps. Okay, I love the stamps. I have to use the stamps. <laughs> I, I, I really need to learn to stamp better. But this is the collab. And so beautiful and dainty. And this, I'm obsessed. These are like, like I don't have tattoos, but um, if I did, I would definitely have something like this probably on my wrist. I don't know, I pin it, but I don't think I'll ever get one. <laughs> so, um, all right, let me show you some of these examples. And I have to say, I was obsessed with this paper because Sophie Paper Sweets 09 um, on Instagram, she started posting these strawberry pictures and that's why I got this paper, okay? So um, now you guys are gonna be obsessed too. So here is the little banner and I wanna show you, and I'm gonna do a banner with you guys because I want you to see how you do it because I, I know um, it's probably intimidating for someone who isn't used to doing ruffles. So this is this size here. And um, I added glitter on there, but this is like a two and three quarter by three and three quarter bag. So that's what that looks like. And I ran it through my sewing machine. I have uh, not used glue on this yet. So I'm gonna actually try with glue while we do it, but I like to run it through, but I know not everyone sews. And then I'm going to show you the, do the doily right here. I actually folded that into a bag too. So you could see it's like a mini doily and I've had bigger sets, but this one is like the same size bag. So you can see it's small and yeah, my glitter is really messy. And then for this banner, I wanted to put it maybe like on an envelope um, just to make it like, you know, a dainty, pretty little vellum envelope. It's so simple. I literally just folded it and you can see that looks gorgeous or you can use it as a border. And I'll show you an example of that. So here I made, you know, one of these folders and I've done tutorials on this. Um, I can link it for those who don't know how to do it or, or new. So this I just added on the edge because I really like the way it looks. It looks so shabby and I'm just like all about it. And yeah, I made a glitter bomb mess there too. And then this was another border and you can see it's different. So um, if you have like, you know, like a junk journal or, um, you know, something, you can see how pretty it will look when they're all layered. And I just wanted you guys to be able to see that. So I like that look too. And then the last one is this big bow um, or ruffle and so pretty. I'm obsessed. I told you Brooke really knows how to make everything our vision come to life. And I'm literally obsessed with this because like I said, I'm not great with bows. So let me show you really quick. Okay, so I cut out the smaller one and I want you to see. So this is super, super simple. You see all these little dotted lines here? The die is gonna do that for you and you're basically just going to fold them. It, it does it for you. So um, that's basically all you're doing is going back and forth. And it doesn't really matter which way because you guys, I probably do mine backwards. <laughs> I just do it by the side that I like the way it looks. So, um, like, see, I think everybody did it backwards, but I'm going to leave it like that. And then this side here, I guess you fold back and then forward, back, and then forward, just kind of like that back, forward, just do it like an accordion back, forward. And it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's a ruffle. It doesn't have to be perfect. So if you skip one of these, who cares? And this is how it's going to look. So it's gonna look like this. Now, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and try and glue it because I've been sewing it. So if you're gluing this, it's probably gonna take a little bit more time um, because, you know, it has to stick. So I'm just gonna do that. And just kind of go like that. So it definitely, or tape it. 
And if you're gonna do the other side, you know what, maybe we need a clip to hold this so we can do the other side. I don't know if this is gonna be big enough, but okay, I'm gonna put that down there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I'm just gonna kinda do every other. Did I get blue in there? I hope so. I hope you guys like this. It's super shabby. I don't know why I don't do more shabby things. I think because not all of my viewers are into shabby, just shabby. So we've got like the Halloween lovers, the vintage lovers. So I just try and do something different. But I think preference, if I was just doing stuff, I might just do shabby all day. <laughs> okay, so don't make a mess like me. But you can see with the glue how perfect it still is. It's just a little bit more frilly with... Um, I don't think it's dry yet. Just kind of holding it down. So I guess, so look, if you do it this way, it still looks pretty. But anyway, this is what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to take, it's still like wet. So just bear with me. I'm going to take some double sided tape real quick. And I notice this is folding a little bit um, with glue. So maybe you want to do the back, but I think it's better to have this on your bag so that when you're decorating it, let me just put it on something real quick. Here's my baggie. So I'm just gonna put it on here. I'm not folding it yet, just so I have something to, so it stops folding on me. And then I'm going to grab some double-sided tape. I'm just using this. Oops, I didn't have tape on this side. I wouldn't really put double-sided foam tape, you guys, on this. I'm just doing it because it's in front of me. Okay. But I do use the double-sided on this part. So let me grab this. I'm just grabbing another double-sided tape or foam tape. And then have it like that. Let me see if I have something to stick in here. So you can see what it looks like. But do you see how simple that is? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm terrible at sewing these ruffles by myself. So let me just see if you're doing like a swap or something. And again, do not use double-sided foam tape on the back. You can see just how gorgeous. And the rest is pretty, I mean, aside from the ruffles, I just wanted you to see, um, you know, what it looks like. And by the way, for the glitter, oh, I forgot that part. You guys probably want to know how I did that. That was just a, a mess. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't, this tip, I lost my tip, so it's a little messy. But I really, I should have done that before I did this and I forgot. But I just kind of lined the edges here and dipped it or sprinkled it and then dipped it. So you see, so pretty. Definitely obsessed with this. And I hope you guys like it too. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. Um, but that's it. And if you guys have any more questions, I would be more than happy to answer them um, regarding this kit. But I think I explained like the hardest part for someone who doesn't know ruffles. All right, guys. Um, and this is obviously on Coco Reno site. You don't have to be, um, you don't have to uh, be a member to get this. If you want to just purchase a set, you can just do that. But Otherwise, it's cheaper if you are a member, but like I said, you can purchase this individually. All right, guys. Thanks so much.